All right, so here I have a defective iPhone 13 Pro that I bought about a month back. Yeah, as you can see, really cracked screen. It also needs a clean in the charging port. You know what, let's just do that first. Oof, can you see that gunk? Jesus Christ, I'll just put that on the table and clean, clean it later. Damn. The charging port could not go in all the way. So yeah, got that a little cleaned. Let's see here if I can charge it now correctly. Yeah, now it goes in all the way. Perfect. Restoration complete. Now, okay. Let's uh, let's just get this thing off. Also have to give it a, oh my God. Yeah, that did not wanna turn off. You know what, let me just go get my iFixit toolkit. All right, there we go. Now we'll need this and this. Let's see here. Hopefully nobody has been in here before. Always say that, but it's never a good sign if someone has been in there. Hopefully face ID and everything worked. I, ca I can't remember if I tested that, but hopefully it works. And since this screen is already cracked, I'm just gonna put this down here. And most likely crack the cre screen even more. Wow. Okay, this does not want to open. Oh, I turned the phone on. Wow, this just bends metal instead of letting the glue open. I'm trying to stay behind the screen here, behind the camera, so uh, in case it cracks right on me. What? Oh, there we go. Ugh. It a it actually did not crack. What? Yeah, and it did not damage the screen. I'll have to bend out my tool. Oh, I just made a mark in the table there. Oops. Oh, yeah. That did the job. <laughs> Oh, and that did the job. It just disappeared. Yeah, if I just wiggle it around there, it will just reappear like that. But if I wiggle it out, oh, I should not have done that. Yeah, okay. Did the touch stop working? It might have. Don't really care. Wow, yeah, the glue on this screen is something different. Did I just cut my finger a little? Yeah, wow, the screen on this is different. Like, what? I can, like, do that with it, and it does not crack. Which is interesting. I mean, it does not crack and it does not, uh, the pixels don't die even more. Yeah, okay, some did just die there. Let's see if I can get some real-time action here. This is scary to do, actually, because it does not want to move. I'm trying to bend out my tool here because it just bent the entire thing. Okay, there we go. Where's the face ID? Okay, it's there. There we go. Wait, does face ID? Yeah, touch does not work anymore. So I'll have to... I guess I'll have to open this up. Yeah, there we go. That's the inside, okay? 
Whew, okay, that was a little scary, honestly. Cameras are hopefully not damaged. Let's get these screws out. And turn the battery off. And there goes that. That's the battery. It looks like. Mm. Okay, now the touch I or the face ID. I wonder how I should get this out because I've never done this before on the 13 Pro and oh, if I damage this. I think it also has a RFID scanner. Is that what it's called? Okay, let's be really fucking careful here, okay? Yes, I'm going to curse a little because I'm really scared. I'm really scared. First part out. Uh-oh. Did I just bend that? Okay. Hopefully I did not just damage that by lifting it up in the wrong... Uh, because I might have just lifted it off the sensor or something like that. Hopefully I didn't, but uh, I'm just putting it out there that there is a possibility. This is some scary stuff, okay? Oh my god, and this adhesive too. Ugh. What in the hell do I do here? <laughs> I'm trying to bend out my tool, but it does not want to go. Okay. You know what? Let's disconnect it from the... I did not want to do that to save time, but I got to do that to save this cable. Which is definitely more important. so many unnecessary screws here there it is thought I lost that screwdriver piece this is scary there we go Oh, I'm scared. Mm.
Boom. That's disconnected. Now, we just need to put this on the new screen. Let's see here. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. There we go. The microphone does not have the adhesive here. I wonder if I can just steal the adhesive off of, off of this. I don't even know if that side is, uh, yeah, okay, I don't think that worked, I guess I'll just have to put it here and just hope for the best for that microphone, yeah, I mean, it's still there, just that it isn't adhered onto it. Adhesive is still here. You know what? I'm actually going to clean the adhesive a little just to make it more uh, better, I guess. Look, okay. So some people might just call me stupid, but uh, I'm going to let that slide this time because I mean, the thing is I could apply new uh, a new gasket, whatever it's called, but... I don't think that'll work because the original gasket is much better and it's still intact. So what I'm going to do is remove debris to make it stick better to the screen. And then I'll just use the original one. So yeah, call me stupid, but uh, in this case, I think that's, the best choice because the new gasket does not work at all. So it's better to keep the original and let it work well than new but not working because I can promise you that it will work much better than the new gasket. Boom, got it cleaned up. Now, uh, what what was I thinking? Yeah, let's clean up uh, the, the lens. I'll just use this. Okay, now let's, uh, no, wrong screen. Let's test. It says even on the new screen that uh, to test before install, which is really good. Boom. And now turn it on. Oh, it works, but the brightness. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Okay. 
that is not OLED, but hopefully it's 120 hertz. Oh yeah, the screen here looks nice. Yeah, not original, no shit. It's not 120. There is no way. Mm. Limit frame rate. All right, okay, let me see. So this is what it's like. I don't know, I don't see the difference. I think it's the same if I limit it or not. Yeah, so it's not 120. So I don't really know why I paid that much for the screen, but yeah, I mean, as long as it works correctly. Now, I just need to close this up. Let's see here. I'll have to make sure everything goes right into place. So just like that. And now the screws. Boom, perfect. That is a plus screw that I'll have to do later. Oop. Nope, wrong hole. There we go. Now for the plus screws, if I'm correct. Oh, I forgot to attach the... Yeah, you know what, I'll do that later, that's fine. Now for the plus screws. There are two of them. One. Oh, come on. I need to calm the fuck down because I'm stressing a little because this is really expensive. Oh, come on. Boom. Now, this piece, you know let's zoom in here a little. This piece, three screws here. There they are. Is that the A15 Bionic? I don't believe it. Hey, no way, it has zero cooling. Can't be. It has to be like under here or something. It can't. That can't be the cooling for the A15 Bionic. I just do not believe it. Oh, yeah, so it will be in place because this thing will keep it in place. Uh, place which I totally forgot about. Now comes the hard part because I can't really move my hands. One makes the phone not tip over and kill the screen, and one holds the bracket in place. 
So how the hell am I supposed to put this screw in? Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, two more screws. Oh my god. This is like an operation. Like actually. Well, and, uh, yeah, okay, so it does have a little dust on itself. Let me just get that away, slide that away. Okay, my back is killing me. Let's test everything. Camera, works fine. Face ID. Yep, works right away. Great. Now let's try to put in the screen here, which is probably gonna be the hard part if I'm gonna guess. Really? <laughs> That's the screen? You see this? It's supposed to be like that. Ain't no way. Wait, let me let me just make sure by trying to put in the screws. Oh my god. They fit, which means it's supposed to be like this or they wouldn't fit. It's supposed to be a lip. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so if you drop the phone, there is no protection, basically. It's the screen that dies and it will die. There's no other thing you can do. Yeah. It's supposed to be like that. You can't push it in more. Oh my God. Yeah, okay, I mean, at least the installation was really easy, but wow, that is, like, come on, look at this. Look at this. It looks unfinished, but it's supposed to be like this. It's on all sides. Look, I can't push it anymore. I'm trying to force it in. I'm, I'm afraid if I force it in too much, it's going to crack. But hey, look, top, bottom, bottom screws are in, and it's like this on all sides. Yeah, okay, let's give this thing a clean, and that's gonna be it. All right, so let's just give this thing a clean. Oh, I should also put on a screen protector, but I'll just do that off camera because it's it takes a while and to get like all of the dirt off, off of the screen and all of that. But yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, with the screen, I mean. But I mean, at least it's really easy to see if the screen is replaced. So, I mean, that's a good thing because people can't get scammed. Let's clean out these ports. Let's clean out the... the po charging port. There we go. What else do I need to clean here? Boom.
Yeah, this thing needs a good clean. This thing is begging for a really good clean. Boom. Just to make sure. There we go. Last clean. I won't really know how much I earned off of this thing until it's sold. But I can promise you that I'll earn a lot. I got this thing for about $300. So yeah, screen cost me $150. So that's a total of $450. Plus shipping. Shipping cost me, how much did shipping cost me for this thing? About $20 to ship it to me. And boom, beautiful. Yeah, a little touch prints on the sides, but as long as I have fingers, I won't be able to get that away. Beautiful phone. That's gonna be a wrap. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. I'll throw up two videos of me restoring other phones. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.